Buenas tardes. Good evening and welcome. We we'll start the press conference. Please remember one question per intervention and please identify yourself and the company that you represent. Now the press conference, please remember we do one question per intervention and please identify yourself with, the with your name and the company that you represent. Hello, Tony. Victoria Calero live for Real Madrid Television. It's been 410 matches with these t-shirts, with Real Madrid t-shirts. You just won your title number 20, Copa del Rey, last Saturday. So what are the keys? It plays well, scores. Defense is good, which is something very important if you play against a team like this that it's marked they score three or four times so it's important to have an idea of how they defend and of course home with the idea of attacking scoring and that's it we've played many of these matches and i trust in our experience of course knowing what's important on these matches and at the end of the day I wish it would go as well. Hello, Tony. Jose Luis Sanchez for La Sesta. From England, the last thing we got is good Rooney. City is going to destroy Real Madrid. Bernardo Silva did a half course. Madrid Benzema will not be as good. Do you have the feeling that you are the underdog on this uh, qualifying route from England? Well, I believe it's nearly the same one year ago that nearly no one was expecting to win the champ that we won the champions and we won the semi-final and uh, we did I remember once or two one or two words from last year that it was the same same words that Nude Benune who's the guy who said that and some people said the same thing a year ago, so what can I say? It does not affect us, and it doesn't motivate us more, because it's impossible we, uh, to be more motivated than we are. Hello, David Alvarez from El País. This year you play quite often in midfielder, defense midfielder, that you didn't do so often in the last few years. How do you feel in that position and what does the coach ask when he puts you in that position? Thank you. I feel quite comfortable. I've always said that playing on 8 or 6, the thought is a bit different. 8, you're a bit more forward and you know that they send people back if you lose it that they can solve it if you play in the position of six then you think a bit different because you know that you are lower down you're closer to the goal you just have the defense behind so you may be a bit more committed in the defensive approach and if you play like that you already think about what's going on if the team loses the ball this is a bit the difference. The ball doesn't change a lot. I always do my game. Hello, Tony. Good afternoon. Miguel Angel from Marca. You had a very special relationship with Guardiola and Bayern when you were in Bayern. I'd like to ask if on this city, the way they're playing with Haaland, do you recognize the, uh, what Guardiola is doing? Pep's teams always play their football. We know he has his own idea of football and with each team they train Barca, Bayern or now you can see that it is a Pep's team and they always look with a club they want to get something to improve every time and that's what you do it with the idea of uh, the game of course with the new contracts Haaland of course is a different guy he scored 51 goals this season so it's working quite properly right now 
So what I've mentioned before, we have spurred a very strong Manchester City. They're in a very good moment. And uh, we'll see. Hello, Tony Miguel Uncle to review live for Radio Marca. I would like to ask about Vinicius. You see quite close to him in the pits every time he's in a mess with the opponent. So I would like to ask, how is that therapy with Vinicius? Because you talk to him quite often so he doesn't get into problems. How's that therapy you're doing from several colleagues and yourself? And if you believe you can convince him for him to focus just on playing. Of course, it's important. It's important to know that he's quite young. These are situations that he hasn't lived for a thousand times in his life. And second, that he's the player who makes the difference for us this season with uh, how old is he, 22. So it's also not normal to play and to be that good and to play that well for the whole season. He's never injured. And if we ask for defense, who played against him, he's very, they, they all say that it's very heavy to play against him because every time I lose, the, he's always there. He's always getting on the one-on-one. -on -one and he helped us a lot with his quality and he took us to this moment as well with his uh, actions no question and of course and the other thing as i've mentioned before he's young and he needs to learn that because it's always to be calm in your head and he's playing amazingly and if he gets a bit out of that that uh, sometimes is normal because he's a bit provoked as well on the referee's decision that does not help but he needs to understand that he needs to live with that and the next 10 15 years this is going to happen so he needs to find his way calm on these moments and uh, focus on his game of course this may improve a bit and on the other side we have to say that he deserves a bit more protection from referees and so on because he's always, or quite often, there's already a, even before something happening, there's an atmosphere that helps no one because these are the players that we want to see in the pits. Fans, everyone except the opponents, are understand that, but we have to protect those players for us. Well, what I've mentioned before, he's the key player. from Sky Sports in the UK. I, I don't know if you can answer in English. It, English is okay. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a two-part question, if you don't mind. The first, after the extraordinary events of last season, the semi-final, are, are you expecting a more motivated Manchester City this time around? And, and the second question, away from the game slightly, I know, I don't know if you can answer this, but I know Jude Bellingham, a lot of talk around him at the moment. Just what do you think of him as a, as a player, as a fellow midfield player? Thank you. Um, I mean, I don't know if they could be more motivated than last year. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's clear that that uh, that they have the goal to to win the Champions League. Um, I think uh, most of the players they have never did. So so it's normal that you are you know uh, it's it's nearly impossible to me to be more motivated. And you you felt it also last year because they had two good games, I think. Um, maybe in the first leg they missed to have a, to score a bit more, you know, to have a, to, 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 to come to Madrid with a better result. But even here they, they scored the first goal and they were very close and um, so I think I expect the same motivation because I think more is more is uh, impossible. But uh, to be honest we anyway we won it, we will be motivated uh, anyway. <laughs> so so that's clear. And the second um, I mean, it, that's more a question for the club, to be honest. Um, and and I mean, to have a real opinion, to be honest, I I didn't see him that much to to you know to talk about him because I, I I'm not seeing that much games from from Dortmund. So uh, so um, if it will be the case that he comes, I will have a look at him and tell him. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Hola, buenas. 
Hello, Tony Guillermo Rai for The Athletic. In the next few months, seven of the Real Madrid players, including yourself, finish the contract. So my question is, six months from now, if I ask how many of you do you believe will continue with Real Madrid? I can only talk about myself. I'm not the president who can talk about all the players. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that uh, I'm on the good way, and it's not my job to do official things, that's the club's task, but it's going quite well. So on that, I don't have to talk anymore with the club, everything's clear. Hello, Tony, Jorge Picon for Belevo. Going back to your position, uh, Pivot, there's some analysis saying that playing with you against uh, such a fast midfielder that are so fast in transition and they're so quick, it could be dangerous because they're all their pivots that could be more physical, like Camavingo. What do you think about it? And if in this kind of players of uh, matches, if Madrid don't play more, don't control the ball for 90 minutes, do you rather play in the inside or outside? As I've mentioned before, I'm comfortable in both positions. There's more difference. That's the way it is. But also, the best way to defend is to have the ball. That may help, but no question, we will have moments against this team, as we know that they won the ball a lot, but we defend and we run behind the ball, and we have to defend. And at the end, it's a question, what's best on these matches? It's better a question for the coach than... Uh, I've played as a pivot against Barcelona, two matches against Chelsea, and it won fine. I always have the opinion of defending, which is always a team effort, how you press, how you defend together. And everything else is not my thing. I can only talk about my feeling and I feel comfortable in both positions. Hello, Tony. Luis Castro, Castilla-La Mancha Media. We've heard a coach and the president on Saturday talking about that calendar, that you're the team who plays most matches in Europe this season. So I'd like to ask you the, if you're OK, if you're exhausted, and if that calendar, that, that really bad calendar for this year, is that something that is going to be worse? We're well, fine. I'm never going to find an excuse if something goes wrong because of being tired. There may be days that you feel a bit better or a bit worse, but for sure, we're not going to miss, I don't know, strength. Or tomorrow, we're not going to be tired because it's a champion semi final. You cannot be tired in general, of course. And something can be improved. And this, now, to have too much like this in three days is not a deal thing. We didn't have any help from here or from the outside. So we have to play the matches the way they are. We have to do our best. It could be more ideal, of course, but there are no excuses, as I've mentioned before. Hello, Tony from El Mundo. Father to the match against a city, do you believe that from the federations, we are fine, FIFA, are they pressing a lot to play so many matches? And if you have to make a decision like you made um, a few months ago, you was, uh, went out of the national team because it's a long season. So are they making you uh, take decisions and are they pressing you too much to play? Well, my decision was a few years before this, but in general, that's the way it is. It's been months or years, it's not now, it's been a season that is a bit more different because of the World Cup, but it's not a current thing. I already said this years ago that there's too much when a competition over here and a the competition over there. Nobody wants to remove one of the competition because it would be less money for this or that. And then nobody asked the players. 
if we're happy with this or not. And I hope that we haven't found, well, they're going to look for it more, and that's the way it is. Last two questions. Hello, Tony Ruben Canisares from ABC. I believe you were answering in English to the colleague about a qualifying round from last year. If I remember correctly, in the documentary from Real Madrid Champions last year, you make a comment where you say that you lost 4 3 in Manchester, but you could have lost 10 1. I would like to ask if, in these eight years you've been in Real Madrid, the most complicated team, the team that was most difficult to win, was this Manchester City from Pep Guardiola. I don't know. I don't know. It cannot be said in general. Fortunately, we played a, a lot of qualifying rounds in Champions against many teams in Europe who have a lot of quality, who won us. I remember 1-4 against Ajax here. But, of course, you cannot say it was the most complicated team we played against, but in that match, that's the way it was, so there were always matches. It depends on the day, but for sure, a city with Pep is not easy to win against that, of course. This is Olaf Lund from Sweden. If you could ask, answer in English, I would appreciate it. The world of football is uh, changing and supporters and also leaders are kind of opposing that nation states are buying football clubs. How do you players talk that now when you're facing Manchester City, which is owned by Abu Dhabi? Uh, can you repeat the second part? Yeah. How do you, uh, supporters and le football leaders like Lo Florentino Perez and Xavi Tebas, they're criticizing that nation states are owning football clubs. And now when you face Manchester City owned by Abu Dhabi, how do you players talk about it? Because they have a lot of resources and a good team. Um. I think, to be honest, we all have to get used to it because it's 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 not going to change. It's going to be normal. Um, it's a lot of money in in football. Uh, that's for me. That's the positive side. And now I always look in this a little bit differential because um, I, I, to be honest, I have nothing against owners from other countries or whatever. If they, you know. It depends what you do with the money, you know. If you if you just see your see this club that you buy like a toy because you uh, you 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 like to have a football club, I mean that that's that's not good for for football. But if you really have an idea uh, to to create a great football club, to to have good coaches, play good football, to 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 create something good, you know, for for for, for soccer and and uh, maybe. I mean, open academies, youth academies. Um, these are things you can do also with this money. Then, then um, I'll be I'll be pretty positive with this. Um, but but of course, there are, there are you know two two ways you can see it, and 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 different. Uh, I mean, different examples also already in the, in, in the football world. What to do and how to work with that money. You can do it in a good way. Or just buy a club to see it as a toy. As long as you like it, you do it. After not, that definitely is not not very helpful. Thank you. Gracias.